Hi, folks. Um, I think this is a bit of a funny one. I was recording my beginner JavaScript course, and I was just kind of trying to explain how prototypes work, and I was showing people how you can even, even though you shouldn't, you can even modify built-in prototypes and, and overwrite or add your own. Um, and then I tweeted this, where we make this sarcastic method that exists on all strings. Um, and people thought it was pretty funny. So I tweeted the code out to it. And I thought like, well, there's actually, there's some kick flips going on here. Let's, let's explain what's going on here. So let's break this down line by line real quick. Um, I'm going to turn off my disabled. Is it disabled? Nope. Disable. Turn off my ESLint so it stops yelling at me. You shouldn't ever do this, by the way. You shouldn't just add methods to built-in prototypes. But I'm going to explain what's going on here. So um, the string prototype, anything that gets added to a string prototype is exists on every single string that is then created. So if you put a new method on a prototype, every single string will then have access to that. So similarly, if I um, go here and const name is equal to Wes and I say capital S string dot prototype dot is cool um, and make that a function oh let's just make it true and then if I say name and name dot is cool that will be true now any string that we have will have an is cool property on it so by adding a function to the prototype of a built-in or of your own class uh, we'll make that available on every single uh, type that is created via the new keyword, or in our case, this is called string literal syntax with the quotes. Um, then what we do is we return, the, this is the way that we access um, the instance. And in our case, the instance is going to be a string of whatever you're running it against. In our case, it could be Wes, or it could be, I love to eat pizza. Um, and then what we do is this is a spread and you can spread into an array because we really need um, every single character in order to SpongeBob case this. So dot, 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 any string, hey, how are you? That will just return an array of every single character. So that's what that does. Um, then we map over it. We loop over and we, we get the character and we get the index. And the idea here is that um, if it is even number, if it's divisible by two with nothing left over, then it's an even number. Um, this is a modulo operator. So if I have 10 mod two, it says there's zero left. And the way I always explain this is if I have a box of 11 M and M's, um, and I have three kids, that means each kid will get three and then there will be two left over that can't evenly be divisible. So by doing mod two, you can easily tell if a number is even or odd and by it will return either zero or some other number, which will always be one in this case. So if it is odd, then return upper. Um, and then if it is even return lower or actually the other way around. Um, now, why am what's this right here? Well, um, I'm character is going to be a string. And in order to look up the two uppercase or two lowercase method, I'm using square brackets. Why? Why does that work? Well, if I have my name property here and I were to square bracket two upper case, that is just another way of saying name dot whoops dot two uppercase. Oops, I got to make my name variable again. So name dot two uppercase is the same thing as saying name square bracket string two uppercase like that. And then in order to call that function, you simply just put the parentheses on and that will call the function. So that's what we're doing here because we are looking up either two upper or two lower case here. Um, and then running it on the end here. That's a bit of a hot shot move. You certainly could just do an if statement um, and then run one or the other. That totally is fine. Um, then we return that character either upper or lower case. That will return an array after we map over it. We, and then we want to turn that array back into a string. And that's why we join it. Because if you have a names array, something like this, and you call names, dot join with 
a nothing on it, then it will just slam it all together with nothing in between. You, of course, could put any number of characters in between there. In our case, we're using nothing. Um, and now when we run that, now any string that we make, like um, const last is equal to boss. If we take a look at last and hit dot, you'll see all of the methods are in there and there should be a sarcastic in there because we've, there we go, we've modified the prototype and it will then return the text. So kind of neat. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. See you later.